Hi everybody, welcome to The Pagan Perspective, my name is Tatiana, I'm subbing for Megan today and this week we're talking about unnatural or artificial materials in witchcraft. Okay, so I'm subbing for Megan today, so this video is unscripted and goodness knows what can happen. Well, the question this week is about um, what we think of using unnatural or artificial material when working magic. The question is long as usual, so I will put it in the description bar. And, well, in a nutshell, my opinion is that uh, it doesn't matter what materials you use in your spell working, in your magic working, as long as they mean something to you, you'll be okay. I don't think there's a book that says this material is okay, this material is not okay because it doesn't occur in nature. Uh, so if you use it, you will hinder your magic working. I truly believe that um, the objects, the items and the ingredients you use in your spell working must have a meaning to you. And that significance is what will help you put your energy concentrated in your work so that it's effective. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm having some lighting problems here. I use my monitor as a light source and it's flickering now i think it's going to the computer's going to reboot um so yeah, I, I apologize for the light problems well uh that being said i must add that i myself because i work with crystals that, that's one of the main focus in my magical working is working with crystals so i myself do not like um, the, you know, those dyed crystals when they get the white or translucent crystals and put blue dye in them and or red or pink dye in them. Uh, I myself ha have a bit of resistance in using them, uh, and the reason is that. Okay. The reason is that when I, I put them in my hand, whenever I'm going to use a crystal, like these crystals here, these quartz crystals, I put them in my hand, each one of them, and I, they have to feel right. And for some reason, the dyed crystals, they just don't feel right. So it, it's like a, a gut feeling. Um, and whenever I have a gut feeling, I, I try to go with my instincts. So um, there's no rational explanation why I do not like them. It's just, I don't know, it's a preference. I've, I've also seen some people mention that, for example, wands that have uh, a crystal added to the tip with um, polymer clay or epoxy clay, the monitor just went out and my computer's rebooting. Oh! Anyways, uh, some people uh, uh, do not like, they frown upon the use of those unnatural clays on the wand and they say that it can be a problem for the energy in the wand when you have that kind of synthet synthetic material. Um, I think that's rubbish. <laughs> and the reason is manifold. Um, for one thing, I think that when you have a material such as this one, which is a polymer clay, it's artificial, yes, you will not find it in nature, it doesn't grow <laughs> on trees. 
but when you are working you have to what's the word for it you have to work it with your hands like this to get it in the shape that you want this work that you do with the clay um, that's a specific word for it in English um, I should look up uh, in the dictionary but uh, I really have to be quick to upload this today you get the idea um, when you're doing this with your hands you are actually imbuing this material with your personal energy and also the energy that you're channeling so it often takes quite a bit of time when I am making my creations such as this one can you see it on camera such as this one it's a little plate for a candle and crystals so you can energize them You put your candle here and your crystals and you light it up and you meditate and you program these crystals to work in whichever way you want them to work. So this is one example of um, an altar item that I make. I also make ones and brooms, decorations for them and I also make necklaces to be worn in, in the circle to protect you like this one for example the lighting's really bad, I'm not sure if you can see it it's made out of a green quartz and epoxy clay and yeah so I do not have a problem, apart from the dyed crystals, I, I do not have a problem with artificial material and I do use them and yeah, that's it I think. So what I'd recommend you is if you have to use um, something that's artificial in your spell working or maybe you cannot find a replacement, a natural replacement for it, I'd recommend you hold it in your hand and feel the energy in that particular object and does it feel right or does it not feel right? Um, trust your instincts and all objects, they emanate energy so you can try and feel this energy and see if it, it's correct for your work. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I have to edit real fast and then upload it. Uh, I hope the internet <laughs> cooperates today because my internet has been awfully slow. Um, also, uh, in my previous video, I mentioned that I will be doing a Q&A video next month. So if you have personal questions for me you can leave them here I'll put the link here and you can leave the questions in the comments and I promise I'll reply every single one of them or I'll try to reply to every single one of them next month okay thank you for watching see you soon